This will go. This is Ian Ferguson. Looking for McPherson. Still McPherson has it. It's Jury. Ferguson lays it off to McCall. Yeah, we can see what McCall's trying to do here. The, lay the layoff from Ferguson is trying to bend it with his right foot there past Craig Nelson, but doesn't get the power or the direction. Duncan Ferguson is playing it on the left-hand side. to chase, Thompson there ahead of him though. And English again. No steps in for Thistle, now it's Cameron. Well it's Cameron. And uh, Ian Ferguson comes back to help out. The Rangers get the free kick. It's quickly taken, it's a slack one now. Charlie penalised there. It's all a bit untidy at the moment. Both sets of players so intent on getting on with the game, which is no bad thing. Lots of enthusiasm being shown. There's the ball played through. It's a good one by Cameron. That's on side. That takes a reflection there. And Andy Gorham had to look lively. Well, that's quick the actions from Andy Gorham here. The Rangers backcourt push out, but Gary Stevens doesn't. Leaves Roddy Grant onside. Puts that one in him. That's terrific goalkeeping by Andy Gorham. Picked up by Brown. We're now into injury time. Hitley <laughs> gets a touch. It's away by Law. This is Charlie. Charlie happy just to send the ball into the Rangers half. Person's header, touched by McCall. This is Jury. Rangers always dangerous in these closing stages. They've proved it so often this season. The fight to the final whistle. Here's McCoy. Well, Ali McCoy ties up the points in dramatic fashion in a minute of injury time. Delight among the Rangers fans. Well, he's had one of his quietest nights, but the man knows how to score goals. And he drove that one beyond Craig Nelson, giving him no chance at all. McCall it was, who slotted it through. A superb finish, great power. Ali McCoy takes the salute of the fans. And that puts out for the throw in. And played a minute and a half of injury time. The Rangers on the verge of two more valuable points. Walter Smith and Archinox will be happy to get away from here tonight. It's been a difficult game with the Spiles. There goes the final whistle. Well, a tremendous game here at Clarehill. Walter Smith gets back to the dressing room. There's the man who grabbed the winner, Ali McCoy. In injury time, he takes a salute of the Rangers fans. Great goal it was to the ball sent through to him by McCall and he rattled it behind Craig Nelson. The final score here, Patrick Thistle 1, Rangers 2. Well, the Rangers left it late tonight with two more valuable points. That's yeah, two really good points for us. Um, Thistle made us work very hard for it there. We missed a couple of chances before we scored at the end. Uh, it was pleasing to get a goal right in the last minute, and uh, a good result for us. A terrific finish from McCoy. Yeah, a great finish. I said the other day there, uh, you know, people have got to give him a chance to get his match fitness, but he's always liable to pop up and give you a goal like that, and no better time than tonight. All credit to Thistle Water. When they equalised tonight, they came right back into the match. Well, that's the team they're fighting to get away from relegation. They made it very awkward for us to get through. We didn't create that many chances in the game, and, uh, you know, whatever came our way, we, we managed to miss or it was saved. So it was pleasing to get one near the end. In spite of atrocious conditions tonight, Walter, particularly in the second half, I think 
almost all the supporters tonight were thoroughly entertained by this match. Yeah, so I thought there was a lot for people to be pleased about. I thought, you know, we ourselves can play a bit better football and then we did do, but when you take into account the conditions, uh, blustery wind and then the ground in the first half fairly dry and the second half fairly slippy, so that was awkward for the players.